Hi, I'm Idris. Hi, I'm Faiza. Hi, I'm Rahul. What is oligopoly? Oligopoly is an industry dominated by just a few firms. There are only a few firms in oligopoly and because of that, each one must consider the effect of its own on competitor behavior. Therefore, oligopolies are interdependent. Oligopolies are the price maker and also they have high barriers to entry. Many industries such as cigarettes, software, oil and automobiles are oligopolistic. There are two types of oligopoly, uh, undifferentiated and differentiated. Undifferentiated oligopoly which uh, firms, which means firms sells a commodity such as anger or steels or a barrel of oil. Differentiated oligopoly, which sells products that differs across producers such as Toyota Camry and Volvo as well. So the first obstacle of price leadership is the U.S. Antitrust Law. The U.S. Antitrust Law is the body of laws that prohibits anti-competitive behavior. It is primarily designed to encourage competition in the marketplace and its main role is to make illegal certain practices deemed to hurt businesses or consumers, generally to violate standards of ethical behavior. There are a few examples of anti-competitive anti practices which are price fixing, bid rigging and geographic market allocation. For price fixing, it's an agreement between business competitors selling the same product or service regarding its pricing. Uh, bid rigging is a form of price fixing and market allocation that involves an agreement in which one party of a group of bidders will be designated to win the bid. And the last one is an agreement between competitors not to compete within each other's geographic territories. Thank you.
Okay, the third point is there is no guarantee for other firms will follow the leader. Okay, the first point is a profitable price unless there are barriers to entry will attract new entrants. This would result in destabilization of price leadership agreement. The fifth optical of price leadership is firms failing to follow price increase take away business from that actually are increasing their price. Let's say you got Shell and Motor both selling petrol at $1.80 per litre. Shell decides to raise its price to $1.90. Okay? And Motor continues to sell at $1.80. So whatever consumers go to, consumers would prefer to go to Mobile since it's cheaper. So Mobile will have more profit since more consumers are going there. So effectively, Mobile is taking away from business away from Shell. Thank you. You're unbelievable